hi, it's me, Tree. I have my art snacks box came in the post today. It came a little late this month, but which probably has a lot to do with the current state of the US Postal Service and the things that the people the person who runs it are doing to it because me. Um so let's crack into it. Alright. Let's start with the Strata, which is just a Legion um, cotton, 250 GSM, 100% uh, cotton. It, Art Snacks is having a, a paper sale, and this is it's tie-in in the art snacks box it's nice um we'll have to see how it works for for how i work which is always the question um it's primarily for graphite pastel colored pencil and charcoal so no wet medium tree or if you are be careful news is itchy, don't mind me. Allergies. It's ragweed season. Um, we have King Art Fine Liners from uh, 005 to, 0, to 08. And they are, if you can see that, they are uh, the little felt nibs like uh, microns. So these are probably supposed to be micron dupes. Of course, I like the plastic nibs because I can't destroy them as easily as I can the felt nib ones. Do, 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 do. Those are our menus. Oop, snack. What is our snack today? Peach mango dum dum sucker. That's a fancy flavor. Um. Oh. have some Liquitex ink. I like the, it's in a box, in a bag, in a bag. <laughs> because that makes, it makes sense. Uh, in case it breaks everywhere. Ooh, it's orange. Ha 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 ha. It is a color I do not have, and a color I really like. Orange is one of my favorite, is basically my favorite color. Yay, orange. Time to crack into the, the the green tissue paper of doom. Can we get the thing today without ruining the tissue paper? Oh nope. Close. Very close. Very, very, very little pull on me. pencils so you know or not very often I, we have a, a tiny little paintbrush which I think is a Winsor & Newton tiny little paintbrush Cannot read it because it's Japanese. Uh, a manga liner. So it's another like paint pen fine liner thingy. You can hear the ball moving around to mix up the paint. It looks like it's in kind of this burgundy color. I can't 
can't decide if it's supposed to be metallic-y or not. But you'll find out when we demo. I guess. So. The menus. Uh, the, the, the fine liners are archival and waterproof and theoretically durable, so theoretically. Uh, the Strata is sturdy and absorbent. And it's a white, off-white shade and medium textured surface. So, okay. The, the, the manga liner yeah, can't talk manga liner is surprising absolutely no one a Kuretake Zig <laughs> it's like if it's from Japan it's probably Kuretake um, Liquitex Professional Ink or the manga liner it is a metallic color and it is opaque and waterproof when dry and it has a fine nib Liquid Tex Acrylic Ink, which, you know, I've I have it and I use it, and it's light fast and permanent, and it is a Winsor Newton Professional Watercolor Synthetic Synthetic Sable Brush. So, tiny little brand and a fancy little brush. So, that should be fun. And the Mitsubishi High Uni Pencil. Um, it's supposed to, the graphite's supposed to be exceptionally smooth. So, okay, and it's cedar body. Which means that theoretically when you sharpen it, it will smell nice. But I'm allergic to cedar, so that may not be a good idea for me. <laughs> Alright, so that is the Art Snack Shenans for this month. I'll be doing a... Sorry, I'm distracted by things. Um, I'll be doing a demo probably tomorrow because it's kind of late today and the light is bad, hence the blaring bright light. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you in the demo. Hello, it's me, Tree. Uh, <laughs> hello, it's me, Demoing Tree. Uh, I've done a little bit of a sketch with the okay, so it's correct Mitsubishi Uni, High Uni HB pencil. It is very much an HB pencil. Um, it's nice. I mean, I me. Uh, I don't really don't use pencils, and I really don't use HB pencils. I, I don't use drawing pencils, and I really don't use HB. And I usually use Faber-Castell, um, the Albrecht, uh, Faber-Castell drawing pencils. I probably said that wrong. Um, but I tore down one of the pieces of paper, um, and it is a very soft paper, um, gave me lovely deckled edges as you can see um, and now we're going to do a little bit of outlining with the the King Art ink line pen um, I, I did like do a little swatching of these uh, so that um, I could see what they look like before I did this and they are basically a micron dupe though check out that little window it's got going on if it'll I don't know I don't know if it's doing the thing but it has a cute little window that shows the nib um, I'm gonna be using the 08 because I like a chonky line I might use a smaller one for the actually I think I will use a smaller one for the um, mushrooms We'll use a, a three, a zero three for the mushrooms. In 
friendly reminder, like microns, these are really supposed to be um, waterproof once they're dry. I'm doing my best not to harm the, the nibs because they're those felt nibs that I destroy if I use them. But they seem like we're doing okay. So one of the things we're going to use is this Liquitex Yellow Orange um, ink that came in the thing. I do very much enjoy Liquitex acrylic inks. and check out the tiniest little line brush. And the thing with acrylic inks, while they're still wet, you can apply water to them to fade them out and spread them around easier. This is such a tiny brush. It's not really a size of a brush that I use very often. But here we are. I'm kind of... I don't really do a lot of, like, super fine detail work, I guess. I guess that's my problem why I don't use these very often. Also, when I was a kid, my brother used to... My older brother used to steal my, my fine, my fine brushes for his uh, miniature painting instead of just getting his own. He would steal my, my really nice liner brushes, so please note my brother is six years older than me, so this, this is a bit ridiculous. So I never had fine liner brushes anyway because my brother stole them. So maybe that's why I don't do fine detail. That is such a a silly excuse. it so you don't spill it everywhere, which is what I would do. Get the ink off my, my brush rest. Oh, and yes, my brush rest is um, a cute little kitty. It's actually a chopstick rest. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is take the uh, metallic paint pen and do a thing I learned from learned from by bun is put it onto some wax paper like so and then you use it like paint and now you understand why I use markers as paints like 90% of my time. But it works really nicely. And gives your paint mark gives your various markers uh, more versatility. Which, as a mixed media artist, I like versatility. I will say this, uh, this paper is 
performing very well thus far, so... Which I'm kind of surprised at. I, it's so soft, I thought I was just going to tear through it. Because I'm very rough on things. A problem with the tiny, tiny brushes is that their hilts, their shafts, whatever you want to call it, handles are so thin that my hands don't like them. Do you want to come up or not? Come on. Hello. Are you visiting? Are you the nicest bean? This is a kitten interlude. Do you need me more stuff? Sweetest girl. Look at that kitten. She's so very sweet. Okay, bye. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for blessing me. Gracing me with your kitten presence. As usual, we're coming back in with um, a white gel pen. Um, they are they show up rather regularly in Art Snacks box, so I feel confident in using it. I'm also going to come in and give our give our skull a little little line cleanup and things. Now, the thing to remember is that this paper kind of on the packaging said that it wasn't really for wet applications, yet it seems to have worked fairly well for them. So I don't, because uh, my camera just turned off, I don't know if it, I was saying that it, the packaging said it wasn't really for wet applications, but it seems to have worked fairly well. So I don't know if that was just them being cautious or what i mean the paper is very soft it is a thing to you know keep an eye on but it didn't pill didn't do any of the usual shenanigans i I think of when I think of paper not being meant for a thing. So, yay. And there we go. We have a little skull friend with some mushrooms because I am predictable. So, 
overall, I would say that the the King's Art Micron dupe is really nice. I really like them. They feel really good in the hand too. Um, there's something about the the plastic feels almost I don't want to say sticky um, because that sounds gross and we don't have jad in hands here but it has like it has like a natural grip that but it's still super smooth so it feels nice but your fingers don't like slide this the paint marker is just lovely it's a great color um, it's metallic it's I'm gonna get into all kinds of mischief with this um, the pencil like I said it's not something I use it's lovely I liked it it's just not a thing that I typically use the ink I love the ink I mean that I have nothing but praise for this ink as someone who um, historically uses Higgins um, I really like the Liquitex also, and this paint and the Windsor Newton, Newton paintbrush is lovely. It's it it does its job. It does its what it does it well. Um, it's not its fault that my hands are are sucky, um, and that for some reason tiny brushes come with tiny handles. So there we go. That is our demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, maybe consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Um, please remember that I do have a variety of other sock med. I'm basically Tentacle Made Studios or Tentacle Made everywhere that matters, including ELO and Artful. Uh, uh, if you want to financially contribute to me, I have a Patreon and a Ko-fi. I'm Tentacle Made Studios at both of them. I also take commissions um, and have a store on my shop, or a store in my shop, a shop on my website, which is TentacleMadeStudios.com. And I have a Redbubble where I'm Tentacle Made because Redbubble won't let me change the name. Uh, but yes, I have a variety of things and ways that you can contribute and support me if that is a thing you choose to do but you do you but no matter what know that the world is better for having you in it so do good be brave be kind and courage <laughs>